good afternoon. It's uh, Saturday the 21st of March 2020 and what a weird old time we're living through at the moment. Strange, strange um, situation. Um, last time I was out, so one of my last um, videos was two weeks ago. I was just mentioning the uh, potential things that are going to happen with this um, coronavirus and uh, in that two weeks a fair old amount's happened um, last Monday uh, people were starting to ask to work from home if they could and I was able to do that so the last day when I went to work in the office was on uh, last Monday and I've been working at home Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, um, government announced that the schools were closing on Friday, but there would be some places kept open for um, children of key workers or children who've sort of got special requirements, special needs requirements. Uh, and then last night, the, uh, the pubs closed or asked to close and not open again until further notice um, so I'm using really now this is an opportunity to try and just get out and get some fresh air in my lungs while the weather's still nice it is strange I'm expecting more and more stringent measures to come into place over the uh, coming days and weeks so this really is just a uh, trying to do something while I still can because once it does finally go into full on lockdown which I think it will within the next two weeks then uh, who knows when I'll be riding again so I haven't really uh, made any decisions on what I'm doing about the uh, World of anti way trip in May initially I think we can cancel Brian was saying we can cancel no telling on the head without uh, any people being penalised up to the uh, end of April so we may be doing that um, hope not but uh, at some point we'll have to at the moment there's no trouble to Ireland so we'll just have to see how things go Prime Minister says we might, be, we might have broken the back of it or at least seen our way through the worst of it by uh, in 12 weeks time so I'm going to try and keep that optimism um, big uh, series of measures announced by the Chancellor yesterday as well to try and stop people getting laid off to encourage employers just to keep their, uh, their staff on and the government to supplement their wages uh, 75% up to 2,200 or 2,800 per month so that is uh, that, that must, that's probably made a lot, of feel, a lot of people feel a lot less stressed than they were uh, yesterday so it's all presidential times we're living through at the moment I don't know uh, what's going to happen I don't think uh, life is ever going to be the same as it was previously again and I think it might be uh, irreversibly changed huh? we'll get through it but what's going to be like on the other side I don't know so uh, but we'll remain optimistic so all the kids are okay uh, Kate's got a bit crazy I think already with having Alicia and Lucas um, Sarah, she's got a bit alright at the moment with the kids not being off school but that changes next week Maybe she seems to be okay So, we all seem to be, uh, we seem to be pretty good in general So, um, I've come out on my own today uh, for a reason, not to be antisocial to everybody but just really to um, 
gather my thoughts, get a breath of fresh air when I've only got to really look out for myself. And I'm not going to worry about is anybody behind me keeping up. We may be out again tomorrow. But I'll say this is just me um, coming out, having a ride around, and uh, as I say, getting my thoughts together. So yeah, it was a period of uncertainty for everybody. Uh, I really feel for those that are uh, are going to be losing their jobs. But hopefully, this uh, series of measures the government's put in place might get some way to uh, see the worst of that um, uh, managed in some way. So. Uh, yeah, I can't say I'm looking forward to the prospect of being uh, confined to barracks for a significant period of time. I don't have any, don't have any trouble doing my job from home. So, uh, yeah, carry on doing that. Uh, we use Microsoft Teams for doing sort of group meetings and daily get-together, so that works okay. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm not the sort of person that likes to be... Uh, Sort of confined to barracks. I like to be. Uh, I like to at least get out of the house every day. So um, who knows if I'm going to get it or not? Uh, I don't think I've got it at the moment, and I'm. Uh, I'm taking reasonable precautions. I don't know if I've had it. To be fair, you never know. I don't, I'm taking reasonable precautions to uh, prevent the spread. That's another reason I'm uh, sort of out to date on my own. And uh, even if we do come out as a group, we won't, uh, we won't have any physical contact. So we'll see about doing that tomorrow. But yeah, this is just a meander around. This is the, uh, the Staffordshire countryside I'm in at the moment. Just trying to get a different a sort of change of scenery, because I'm always around uh, Shropshire, Worcestershire, so I'm having a little mooch around Staffordshire, just to, uh, just to do something different, get some different footage. So, uh, not sure when we're back in the caravan now, uh, as the town closing down and everything, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my options open. I'm See what happens, because if we go down there next week we'll only be uh, we'll be self-isolating ourselves again anyway. So uh, and we won't sort of be using the uh we'll be going into the shops and the uh for the pubs you can't go into. <coughs> Excuse me. So maybe a possibility that we'll go back down there again. When I first came out today um, sort of noticed a little bit that the the local roads weren't too congested, weren't, weren't many people about when I got into the the town where I live there's a few more about, sort of a lot of business as usual going on, the car parks are quite full on the uh, on the trading estate they seem quite full um, and as I've sort of headed out of town now and up into the countryside where I am it is, uh, there's not really much about now, which is nice, and another sort of benefit of getting out today is to do this. I'm been leaking Gary's roof repaired yesterday, completely refelted, so uh, don't have to worry about the bikes getting uh, wet anymore. So the little things that there's a year this so far it's not been a good one and a leaking window on a caravan I think that was a big part to do with storm Cairo or whatever it was back in back in the January early February so that's been repaired now and the garage roof started to leak so that's sorted now and then there was this virus thing that's emerged now so 
really had a good year so far uh, I think 2020 is going to be uh, looked back on for many as a uh, an Annus Horribilis to coin the Queen's phrase when she had her bad year I haven't got a clue where I am somewhere up uh, any towards Rusley but sometimes it's nice not to know where you are I may end up washing the bike again <laughs> but hey ho not too hard a task but we'll probably uh, one of the benefits of this, probably a lot of people are going to have immaculate gardens and probably do all those little jobs around the house they weren't able to do before. That might be. Uh, what you got to try and do is look at the, uh, try and look at all the positive. It's dead easy to dwell on the negatives and the uh, be the oh woe is me. And I found myself doing it a couple of times. And uh, you just got, you mustn't do that. We can't let it um, can't let it completely cloud and our judgment. I don't think anyway. Probably going to hit some hardship. Many people are, unfortunately. But we are all. Uh, We are all living through it together and, uh, as a nation, I suppose, is the way to look at it. And uh, hopefully it'll bring out the best in people. Oh, this is a lovely back of the woods here. Millwich, Millwich, whatever it's called. little really this is they always close <laughs> that's nice I've said before, I'll say it again, we've got some beautiful places just on our doorsteps and we're um, 40 miles away from home and I'm in this gorgeous countryside Wonderful, we don't know how blessed we are sometimes Ain't riding a motorbike just the best way to clear it and uh, gather your thoughts. I think a lot of it's to do with it, you are concentrating, but that concentration sort of clarifies your thinking. It does for me anyway. When you get to when you look at when you look at this, what I can see now, and uh, it sort of helps to put things into perspective for me, just riding around the countryside. So I don't really know where I am, not that bothered where I am. It really doesn't matter. You know, pretty much I've got the roads to myself a fair bit. I think that's stone over there. Here we are, dropping down into stone. This 
this is a road between uh, just come out of stone and this is heading towards lake sad sight seeing these pubs closed so apart from uh, not too much traffic life seems relatively normal Quite a strange sort of eerie feeling that something is about to change irreversibly. That's the best way to describe the feeling I'm, I'm getting at the moment. just a few weeks ago they were all making plans for the uh, for the year ahead wow that's nice is really pleasant up here. Real nice change. Somewhere different. TV. There's beautiful daffodil there. Wow. Hello 
что жить. Тоже здесь что-то стоящее было. Да. Там маргарина. Да? Вот сюда. Все, повторяю. Так. Ну, теперь один в планке. off there in Sudbury at the National Trust Museum of Childhood and uh, took a picture how many you know a text from Kev we're going out tomorrow, meeting at 8.30 Going down to Lemster So, uh, that's nice Two rides out in this weekend Really nice So, this takes us down into uh, Blitzfield now and then I'll have oh, just getting out has made me feel so much better
right, got in the play. Oh, the old speed camera's here now. Through the old dry cut in the clay speed cameras, as usual, Go through them. So we meet at 8.30 tomorrow and we're off to uh, Lemster. I'm going to let Joe know, Sarah know, in case they're not aware. Shenston area now, the A5127, for the direction of uh, Sutton Coalfield. So uh, I'm ready to know. It's been a nice ride out today. Give me a chance to uh, gather my thoughts, clear my head, fill my lungs with fresh air. So we haven't been uh, headed up to Litchfield, up from Litchfield, up towards Stone, into Stone, Stone towards Lake, up towards Lake, then swung towards uh, Utoxita, and Utoxita, uh, down to um, Sudbury, and then Sudbury down to Drycott in the Clay, Kings Bromley, Abbots Bromley, down back into Litchfield, and then down back uh, south of Litchfield, the way I'm going now home. So, we're planning a, a ride out tomorrow to Lemster. Um, some sunny weather is uh, forecast again. I have a nasty feeling in my water that tomorrow may well be our last ride out for a little while. I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. But uh, just got this feeling it, will, it may well be. So, uh, looking forward to doing that. That will be with uh, Kevin L. Um, I'll invite Brian out as well. Oh, Brian's at work, sorry. Uh, Sarah, thanks to make sure she knows. And I'll let Joe know as well. So, um, that'll be, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Very pleasant, so two, two for the price of one this weekend. Um, I'll be videoing tomorrow. Videoing? Videoing tomorrow again. As I, as I tend to do any of my rides now. Um, just to capture that, I might take the Insta360 with me as well. Because I'll be going on the bobber again. Um, I think, on that note, I'm going to uh, wrap things up for today. Right, just to wrap up by saying um, thanks for watching the video if you stayed to the end I do appreciate it and uh, like to wish you all the best and all the luck in the world for yourselves and your family as we uh, head into this um, into the unknown and uh, hope everything goes okay for everyone and I hope that this is a uh, a short-lived hiccup and that we all come through it healthy at the end so thanks for watching take care see you soon